starting with his 1999 Lincoln Center of Words mulled with a Roosevelt Dime Reverse. Graded in mean state 66 read by PCGS. This is an incredible error somehow escaped the scrutiny of Mint employees. It is uncertain how a Lincoln Center of Worst die was paired with a Roosevelt Dime Reverse, but this coin proves that it happened. The obverse is sharply struck on the figure of Lincoln and the date. Also, the opposing dime die, being slightly smaller than the sand planchet, caused minor peripheral weakness on obverse. In other words, nothing was behind the periphery of the sand die to force the expanding metal into the recesses. Naturally, the slightly smaller reverse dime die caused the side to be boldly struck. This incredible error coin fetched a sum of $138,000 at Heritage Auctions. Finding this 1974 cent is as difficult as finding a needle in a haystack. I'm sure most of you know that selling or buying aluminum cents of 1974 trial issue is illegal in the United States. You can ask how come this aluminum cent ended up selling for big money in auction. This is because it's a proof cent struck on a foreign aluminum coin, Nepalese 2 paisa to be correct. It is believed unique and is likely one of only two aluminum 1974 cents legal to own. This numismatic pinnacle was bargained for $199,687.50 with buyer's fee on January 22nd, 2023 at Great Collections Auction. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to activate subscribe and notification buttons below this video. Thanks. Moving on with his wartime error penny, 1943 Lincoln cent struck on unknown planchet. Metal composition of alloy is 91.7% copper, 7.5% zinc, and 0.8% silver, and it weighs 3.08 grams. While the legal standard for the bronze cents leading up to the change to steel in 1943 was 95% copper, 5% tin, and zinc. As the famous 1943 copper cents have long been understood to have been accidentally struck on leftover bronze planches of 1942, the expected composition of such an error should match the legal standard. As given above, the composition of the present planchet is not, however, an identical match. While its exact nature remains unclear, it is certainly bronze cents struck at the Philadelphia Mint in 1943. At the present time, it stands as unique, important, and perhaps destined to be a famous rarity in its own right. This error penny was bargained for $164,500 at Stax Powers auction. Another wartime error coin, 1944 Lincoln cents struck on a leftover steel planchet. Graded in mint state 64 by PCGS and proven by CAC. Bright and lustrous steel grade example with exceptional eye appeal. The surfaces are mark free save for a few specks seen under low magnification. The viewer will be hard pressed to find any other blemishes of note. Like its 1943 bronze cent counterpart, the 1944 steel cent is a highly prized error that has enchanted collectors since. It's discovered by collector Richard Fenton in 1945. While not as well known as its famous 1943 bronze counterpart, the 1944 steel cents are still rare in ultimate sense. Nearly 30 Philadelphia Mint 1944 steel cents are known. It ended up selling for $158,625 at Stax Bowers auction. Here is remarkable double denomination mill. 1993 D. Lincoln cent struck with dime reverse, graded in mean state 65 read by PCGS. US coins struck with dies of different denominations are extremely rare. This lustrous gem shows the characteristics expected of a cent and a dime mill. The dime side has a broad, tall rim since metal was forced into the color of the dime die by the wider diameter cent die opposite. As a result, the scent side has a soft strike near the rim since metal in vicinity flowed into the dime color. The strike on the reliefs is normal. The lustrous surfaces are pristine aside from a solitary faint gaze above the date. The color is predominantly orange with shades of fire red, olive green occasionally present. It was sold for $51,750 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1973s Eisenhower dollars struck on a 22.5 gram copper nickel clad planchet. 
graded in mint state 67 by NGC. To the untrained eye, this coin has the appearance of a properly produced Eisenhower dollar. Indeed, both sides are fully struck with bountiful mint luster in a soft satin finish. Also, exceptionally well preserved, we note a virtually pristine appearance to untoned silver gray surfaces. While the NGC insert reports a weight as 22.5 grams, even that does not identify the error for the official weight standard for copper nickel clad Eisenhower dollar. For official weight standard for copper nickel clad Eisenhower dollars is 22.68 grams. The error and its major one is in the finish. For while the 1973s Ike dollar was produced using both silver clad and copper nickel clad planchets, and the former were made as both circulation strikes and proofs, the latter were intended as proofs only. This extremely rare error coin fetched the sum of $48,000 at Stax Powers Auction. This is 1976S Bicentennial Quarter in PR67 cameo condition, double denomination on a clad dime. A struck clad dime was overstruck twice by proof 1976S Bicentennial Quarter dies. The subsequent strikes have effaced the undertype design, but the diameter and reeded clad edge confirms the undertype. Between the two strikes from quarter dies, the coin rotated 100 degrees counterclockwise relative to the obverse side. From the first quarter strike, we see Washington's cue with his hair from the first strike. On the reverse, the drummer's left hand remains from the first strike. The coin has two small border splits at 7.30 and 10 o'clock, and traces of copper interior are apparent along the reverse border. It ended up selling for $9,000 on June 12, 2023 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1971 as Kennedy of dollar in PR65 condition, double struck, both strikes of center. Both strikes are approximately 30% of center toward 12 o'clock. The date and the meat mark are complete and clear. The second strike was several degrees southeast of the first strike and is most apparent on We Trust and the ED in United. A majority of liberty is off the flat, as is almost all of half dollar. The verse between 12 and 2 o'clock displays a narrow band of red color where some of the copper core was squeezed out during the strike and struck into the upper right of verse margin. Sold on June 12, 2023 for $1920. This is 2000 Sacagawea dollar struck on a Susan B. Anthony dollar blank. Intense cartwheel luster springs boldly throughout the near perfect gem. Surfaces of this important off metal wrong planchet error. The strike is sharp and crisp on both sides, with even the tiniest of details fully represented. Low magnification reveals two light vertical die cracks on Sacagawea's portrait, both beginning on her forehead. The host planchet of the present rarity, a copper and nickel clad Susan B. Anthony dollar blank, composed of outer core of 75% copper and 25% nickel, bonded to an inner layer of a pure copper, is no doubt from Susan B. Anthony coinage of the year of 1999. It was sold for $16,450 at Stax Bowers auction. This is 1981 Lincoln sent with obverse die cap, struck on a nickel planchet. Graded as mean state 62 by PCGS, die caps occur when struck coin fails to eject from the press and successive strikes or new planchets warp the original coin around one of the die faces, resulting in a uniface cap with the design of the cap die struck into the depths of the cylinder. Die caps are often seen from the latter Lincoln set issues and occasionally appear also from other denominations, but virtually every instance of such an error involves a die cap produced with a planchet of the same denomination as the die, sometimes bonded with other planchets of the same denomination. The present piece, however, is a die cap formed by a nickel planchet on a cent die making these a double error of sorts, a die cap and a wrong planchet. Sold on June 12, 2023 for $4,320 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1968 S. Lincoln and Sands struck on a 1965 Roosevelt dime, graded in PR62 condition by PCGS. This is an obvious overstrike or so-called double denomination error showing a full outline of the Roosevelt dime portrait on obverse around the Lincoln, rotated 
180 degrees. Significant undertype is also visible on the reverse. Each side is brilliant and deeply mirrored, showing only minimal handling marks. To limit the numeric grade, sold on June 12, 2023 for $3,840 at 30 auctions. And this is 1944 P. Jefferson nickel struck on a standard nickel planchet graded as VF certified by PCGS. Medium steel gray with a hint of golden toning. Well circulated but no great physical detriment. A truly neat item by any standards. In late 1942 the use of copper nickel planchets for circulating 5 cent pieces was discontinued and replaced by a copper silver manganese amalgam that will remain for duration of the war. In 1946, copper nickel standard was once again in the play for denomination. No doubt a leftover copper nickel planchet or more perhaps of the 1938-1942 era was on hand at Maine and somehow found its way into the hopper of silver wartime nickels. From there it entered circulation where it must have stayed for years before an eagle-eyed collector spotted it for anomaly that it was and kept it in collection where it avoided more wear and tear. It was sold for $5,875 at Stax Powers Auction. Thanks for watching guys, your likes and subscriptions are highly appreciated. Stay healthy.